So, I'm super excited about this. I wanted to show, this is gonna be my garden. This is a community raised garden plot and there's multiple raised gardens here. And they said I could use one, which I'm so excited about. Um, but it was full of weeds. And so I'm trying to use cardboard to, um, to kill the weeds before spring. It'd be great if it works. I'm supposed to put mulch on top and water it down. The water's been turned off here for the winter, so I'm hoping we just get enough snow that it will weigh it all down. But um, we had a bunch of bricks in our garage that I put on top because we get really high winds here. I mean, really high. Really high for me is like, I don't know, 30, 40 miles per hour. I don't know if that's high for everyone else, but it's enough to blow the cardboard everywhere. Actually, over the summer, I tried to do this newspaper and it wetted it all down and the wind blew it everywhere. There was newspaper strewn all over the here and like, and I was responsible for it. And I felt really embarrassed. I had to like come back and clean it all up. I thought, uh, I thought everyone must be like, who is this newcomer? Oh yeah, there's Loki saying hi. Hi. I, uh, I did all this here. Let me show you. I did, I did all of this. With Loki on my back. This is great. Hey cutie. Um, so, I haven't managed to get cardboard over all of it yet, but I'm hoping to soon, and then I'll try to get some mulch and get that on top, so we'll see what I manage to do here. I'm really hoping this will work out, because it's a nice big plot, and, uh, and it would be really great if I could use it to expand my garden space. I'm hoping to have a garden in our backyard and also this garden here, some stuff in the front yard. We'll see what works out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you the plot that I'm working on. I really wish we had enough cardboard for it. Oh, here. Oh, let me see if I can do this. Yes, that, that right there, that's our plot. But do you think it's going to be great? Yeah? Loki's been like partially falling asleep sometimes. He snuggles into my back and it's the cutest thing ever. But then he keeps waking up because I keep going inside. And he's like, oh, we're home? Yes. What are we doing now? See so yeah, all these weeds. I mean, they're easier now that it's winter. They're dead. So they're not, you know, they're easier to put carpet on top of. I'm not going to try to dig them all up. That's way too much work. But I'm really hoping this method works. I supposedly was supposed to start in the fall, but better late than never, maybe. Cardboard, mulch, and then maybe I'll have to do some like raised garden soil on top. But um, we'll see. I figured I'd just get this process started at least. It doesn't hurt to try. So I'm really proud of myself for getting this much done, especially with this little guy in my back, huh? You got a smile for the camera? You too tired. Little cutie. Yeah? What do you think? Do you see yourself in there? <laughs> this thing is so cool. Look at that. Look at our garden space. You see that? We're going to have garden all throughout there. We're going to grow tomatoes and other things. Broccoli. A lot of basil. Basil is my favorite. All right, so while we're walking home, I just wanted to share to you about my so I've started some plants. You're not supposed to start plants this early. So they're gonna to be too big and you're gonna to have to try to keep them indoors and everything. But I felt like starting plants, so I was like, well, uh, I guess I just have to learn the hard way. I'm only starting like a few, like, you know, enough to fit on our kitchen table. Um, so we'll see if it works or not. <sighs> Big yawn, what do you think? Too far a walk. What do you think, little cutie? <laughs> All right. I wanted to show my indoor plants as well. I guess to call it a garden. It's not really a garden. It's, it's an attempt at a collection of plants. So when you moved into this house, our real estate agent got us this beautiful 
succulents. Succulents are supposed to be really easy to grow. And it's in this interesting little pot here. I killed it the other day. Last night I touched it and the whole thing just fell. It was rotted because I watered it too much. So I killed this succulent. It's got this little thing here coming up that is still alive. So I'm hoping that it'll just kind of air out and it'll survive. I'm bad at succulents. So I'm mood wit and making all the mistakes. These three, I have planted one tomato seed in each of these. No, this is not how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to plant them this early. You're not supposed to do one seed per container like this. And these ones, some of them are tomato seeds, some are basil seeds. So yeah, it's not, this is not how you're supposed to do it. Don't copy me. But uh, I really wanted to plant something and everyone said it was too early and I was like, well fine, I'll just plant a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Um, these are attempted rosemary starts and my arrow garden. I have the seeds for 14 different kinds of basil. So I have six of them growing in the arrow garden right now. Well, I hope they'll grow at least. And then three, three other kinds in, in these ones. And, you know, obviously I'll be planting more as the year goes on, but um, this is just to start with. So I really like my basil. I have a whole collection, different kinds. Different kinds, different flavors for different things. Uh, really excited about that. Hey, you little guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is someone tired? Is that cute baby tired? Yeah. Do you see yourself? It's like a mirror. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to show you the backyard where we have... We're working on the garden. I'm kind of embarrassed to show this because... It is very, very, very much a work in progress. <laughs> like, very much. This is our backyard. That's our... Calling it a garage is kind of nice. It's kind of more like a shed without electricity. Um, but this is going to be my backyard garden spot, uh, at least for this year. Loki wants to say hi. <gasps> hi, cutie. <coughs> yeah. Is that funny? Is that funny? Okay. So, yeah, all these... All these little grow bags. Anyway, this was my portable garden before we moved here. And we tried to transfer the plants here, and these are the ones that survived the move, but did not survive the heat wave that Loki was born in. And I just haven't managed to take care of them yet. So eventually I would love to do raised garden beds. I'd really love that, but I just, I wasn't managing to make that happen, and I wanted to make a garden happen, so I figured I'd just start by killing the grass and just go from there. This back here is our compost bin. Uh, our city has this great thing where you, you take an online course to, to be able to compost and then they send you a free compost bin. So, <laughs> cutie. This is a uh, hawthorn. It's a hawthorn tree. I knew it was a cool name. So we have little hawthorn berries down here on our little cement walkway. So my mom strongly advised me against putting it under the tree because the roots will grow up in it. She was probably right. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see when we try to put that compost on the garden how far the roots got. Uh, these are all the branches that fell in the last big storm. Still haven't managed to take care of those yet. Um, but I wanted to show you. I've got some gallon jugs here that's got seeds planted in them. It's called winter sowing. And uh, I'm really excited because the idea is, <laughs> he is too cute. Happy baby, happy, happy baby. Are you excited to be out here, little guy? Yeah? Um, so the idea is that you plant seeds in them. They're pretty well protected in the jugs and uh, kind of acts a little bit like a mini greenhouse. And uh, the seeds just stay there all winter and they come up when they're ready instead of needing to like time when you plant seeds. And they're pretty hardy, like they don't need to be hardened off like ones that are grown inside. That tree, that tree is our apple tree. It looks terrible right now because it just got pruned, it got very heavily pruned because it was really overgrown. And this 
funny looking tree here. That's our pear tree. So we have an apple tree and a pear tree and a hawthorn tree. Oh, is someone all done? Are you all done, little guy? All done? You want to go inside? One more shot of our garden here. It's so pretty back here. I just, I can't wait to do more. All right. That, that is our backyard garden space. And this is the area that gets the most sun. So I was kind of waiting to check on that before I finalized it. And I just, at some point, I would, I'm so excited to do more of this, but this is our little patch of parsley. These, I started these from seed and then my mom rescued them during the heat wave when I was having Loki. I'm amazed that they're still going, but somehow they are. I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. What do you think? We're not in here often, are we? Just chilling back here. You're being so adorable. I know there's cool stuff in here, isn't there? Really cool stuff. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick this. I'm so proud of this. This is my oregano plant. I have kept this plant alive for almost three years. It has been with us through the move. It's been with us through a negative, I believe it was negative five degree winter day, and also through 116 degree summer temps. And I have managed to keep this thing alive. It's the only plant that I've managed to keep alive through all of that, and it's still going. So uh, I just wanted to show that because I'm so proud of myself. Out of all the plants that I've done, that one's good. So. All right, that's it for now.